Hey guys and welcome to Shutterstock Tutorials. My name is Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com and today we're going to be talking about camera movements. Now I know you've probably heard of a lot of camera movements already. I mean you got your pan, tilt, zoom, dolly truck, walk and talk, vertigo effect, Gutenberg slide, Prince Albert shuffle, the salsa, the waltz, the dab. I think those last ones were dance movements. But today we're going to be talking about the three principal camera moves that you need to know when working with a basic setup with a tripod and a camera and that's your pan, your tilt, and your zoom. Now I know you may be wondering why I'm not mentioning the dolly or the truck, which is movement on the Z axis. It's because I think whenever you're first starting out, you need to focus on your still videography before even adding any bit of motion to it, where it gets incredibly more complicated. Also, you don't want to run into this problem. Is the shot focused? Now the basic tenet of this shot is saying that you want to shift focus from something from one side of the screen to the other. So say you have a, something over here that is your point of focus, you want to move it to over here to another point of focus. And that way you can draw a correlation between the two items without having to have a break in shot. The key to a really good pan shot is smoothing your movements. Uh, to start that out, you need to undo the knob that controls your horizontal axis on your tripod. That way you can get really smooth movements with your hands. And so you're going to want to start with point A moving to point B, okay? And usually in a traditional pan shot, you're going to want to focus on the second item whenever you're panning over, unless you want to focus with the two items. So whenever you start here, you start your focus, get your focus set in right now, and start into your second item. And my trick to get a smooth shot is just to use one finger for either a push or a pull, because whenever you have full hand on it, you might get some upward movement and you want a completely smooth sideways horizontal shot. So get one finger, grab it, and then pull softly. And then right whenever you get to your point B, slow down and then stop. You don't want a hard stop because it's just not going to look good. So again, just get one finger, nice pull, and slow down and stop. You can also do a push. It's just more what you feel comfortable with. If it's a really heavy camera, you might have to use all your fingers, but I don't recommend a full grip because you're not gonna, you're gonna get more of a tilt than you are gonna get with a pan. But the second principle we're gonna be talking about is the tilt, and that's moving the camera on the vertical axis to get from point A to point B. Now the tilt holds the same tenets as the pan, but it's just gonna be a little bit more tricky because whenever you move the camera vertically, it's gonna wanna return to the center. It has a center of gravity that it always wants to return to compared to the pan that just stays where it's at whenever it's left. The key to getting a really good tilt shot is a very loose grip on the tripod arm. You don't want a hard grip because you're just moving your arm up and down and you're gonna get some horizontal shake to it. So a very loose grip, just your fingertips, moving it up and down. And remember to stop slowly because you don't want a hard stop whenever you're stopping on your final image. Unless you're Michael Bay where you're just shaking the camera everywhere and you're just, ah, shit, explosion! And always remember to set your focus on what you want to be your focal point of the shot. So set your focus beforehand, tilt down, tilt up, you're golden. Now our final camera principle is gonna be the zoom. And that's just using your camera body to achieve movement without moving your tripod. And I know everyone's used to zoom. I mean, there's zooms on camera phones, on regular cameras, almost every single thing. You've, you've probably used a zoom, but the thing is you have to learn how to use a zoom effectively. Now the thing to remember about zooms is that you're gonna be ending up somewhere. It's just like the tilt or the pan where you end up from point A to point B. Your point B is gonna be your main focus most likely. So with the zoom, whenever you zoom in, you want that place to be truly in focus. Now a simple trick to use to achieve a really cool zoom is to zoom in to wherever you want to be, focus up, and then place two pieces of gaff tape exactly where the camera is going to line up. So you want to place it right there. So whenever you have your shallow shot, you want to transition to your close-up. All you have to do is just line up those pieces of the tape and you've already achieved your shot without even looking at your monitor. Now a good zoom on an average camera is pretty hard to achieve because every time you try to zoom it's either really fast, it's kind of shaky, um, it just doesn't work very well. So one trick I like to use whenever I'm shooting on a camera with kind of like a finicky zoom is using your finger as a break on the top part of the lens. Now whenever you're zooming it's going to slow down the zoom, make it a lot smoother instead of you know a fast jerky zoom. So just use your finger as a break, you know you can slow it down, speed it up but it gives you a lot more control over your shots. So those are gonna be your three basic principal camera movements and utilize those as much as you want. But remember, whenever you're first starting out, utilize the still shot. There's so much beauty in the still shot and it's easy to make. So always try to go for the still shot first and maybe incorporate a few tilts and pans 
but always stay steady. I promise you, your film's gonna look a lot better with the majority of still shots. So thanks for watching everybody, uh, this has been Robbie Janae with Shutterstock.com and we'll see you next time.